with the KX News Storm Team. Hello everyone, welcome back to KX News at 4. Meteorologist Hunter Binstock here. We're going to start off with a look at that Storm Team radar. We do have a couple of clouds up towards the northeast of Mina and down in that southwestern corner, but plenty of blue skies this afternoon. And it turned out to be a beautiful afternoon, albeit really cold. Looking at our NDDOT roadmap, a lot of green roads out there, especially towards Williston and down towards Dickinson, around the Minot area and Bismarck area. Still seeing some wet slushy roads, maybe some icy roads as well. And as we progress into the later hours of this evening, those roads that don't green up through the rest of the afternoon here could potentially transition back into that scattered ice. Now looking at Bismarck right now with some nice beautiful blue skies out there. Temperatures are going to be right in the 20s. Winds on north northwest at 20, making our wind chills feel like 4 degrees. So we're losing 16 degrees in the capital city right now. So definitely a colder afternoon. Your Wilson temperatures right now are going to be sitting at 17. Winds on north at 10, making our wind chills feel like 5 degrees. Relative humidity is relatively high right now at about 65%. Looking at temperatures across the rest of the state, we're going to be in those 20s and teens widespread across the state. We have 17 for Dickinson, 19 up in Minot, over for our friends in Wishick at 17, 23 down there in Mobridge. So a colder afternoon, but not too cold. It's really the wind that's getting us this afternoon, causing those wind chills. Looking at lows tonight, we're going to be in those single digits and single digits below zero. We have one below for a capital city, one, below, one degree for Williston, three below for Sydney, one below for Beach. So colder temperatures are going to be coming later this evening and with them we're going to see really really cold wind chills. Now looking at our wind speed and direction right now we're primarily out of the northwest anywhere from 5 to 15 miles an hour for much of the state especially those folks out towards the more western reaches. Now as we look a little further west we get a bit stronger. We're going to be in those 20s and even almost 30. We have 28 in Harvey, 22 for Rugby, 19 for Linton but as we look further towards the west we have 11 for Beach, 5 for Sydney, 11 up in Plentywood. So a couple of weaker winds and a quite a few of those stronger winds, especially out towards those more eastern reaches of the state this afternoon. Now looking at your absolute comfort plumbing heating windshield report, temperatures are going to be in those single digits and maybe even getting close to those below zero temperatures already. We have one below one degree for Garrison, we have three up in Minot, two for Stanley, four down there in Headinger, so definitely a colder afternoon. That wind is really doing some work. And looking at our wind chill forecast towards this evening, we're going to be in those single digits below zero and maybe a couple uh, single digits above zero across the state, but it's really going to be a cold morning tomorrow morning, so you're going to want to start your cars early, wear your hats, wear your gloves, wear something to cover your face if you can. Just cover those extremities. Stay safe, everybody. Now, looking at a precision cast here for the next couple of days, relatively clear skies out towards the west, maybe some in and out clouds out towards the Devil's Lake area. And those clouds are just going to be in and out here for the next couple of days. It's really not until we get to Thursday afternoon where we start to see a signal. Now, this signal is going to work its way across the state all the way through Thursday evening into Friday morning. Now it's going to be a mixed precipitation event. There's chances for rain, there's chances for freezing rain, and chances for snow. And since there's so much amb ambiguity from the system, we'll keep you up to date as it gets a little bit closer. Now looking at our wind gust forecast product here for the next couple of days, 15s and 25 for the essential portions of the state. And they're going to hang out for a while until we get well into Thursday, and we're going to see those winds come back, those 15s and 25s and some isolated 30s and 35s. And they'll get stronger as they get into the central portions of the state, and then we'll just see some in and out 30s and 35s afterwards. And they're going to stick around until we get until Saturday. Now looking at your Williston five-day forecast, temperatures are going to be in those 20s and 30s for the first couple of days. And then we'll be in those mid-30s for the weekend. Now these temperatures might rise a little bit. There's a bit of disagreement with the models with the weekend. Your Dickinson five-day forecast looks like we're going to start with the 30s for tomorrow, get into those 40s for Thursday, and then 30s for pretty much the rest of the five-day period. Now your Minot seven-day forecast, temperatures are going to be in those 20s to start it off, 40s for Thursday, and then we'll get into those 30s for a couple of days, but then a warming period will come back for Monday and Tuesday, and we do have precipitation chances on Easter Sunday. Now your Bismarck 7-day forecast, 20s and 30s for a majority of the period, 40 degrees on Monday, 48 for Tuesday, and again, we have precipitation chances on Friday, and then again on Sunday. And with the temperatures going to be the way they are, we could be seeing mixed precip or maybe some full-on rain for Easter Sunday. Not having to shovel on Easter if that's the case. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. I don't want to shovel on Easter. I want to go hunt some Easter eggs. Uh -huh. you know? It's uh, Ideally, it's not a slippery drive home. That's what you yeah, hope. Yeah, that's what I'm really hoping for is no ice. So we'll, we'll keep you guys up to date, you know, as the system gets a little bit closer. But it's just so far out right now mm -hmm. that... We don't want to tell you anything wrong, you know? <laughs> so we'll see how, how it pans out so far. Mm -hmm. Hunter, thank you so much. And stay with us. Coming up next, there are several forms you need to